Hey guys, uh, so one of our subscribers asked me to make a video about the board outlines and the funny shapes we made because in the previous video live stream we did, we actually made a heart shaped PCB and I noticed I didn't clearly indicate exactly how we did that. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a different shaped PCBs like a square, a circle, a triangle and taking shapes from the internet and putting it onto a PCB or making the shape of that image to a PCB. Uh, sorry for the beanie, but my hair is crazy with this lockdown. So what I mean about that is things like this. So this is a PCB and it's a unique shape. So this is what I want to show you guys. As you can see, PCBs come in very many different shapes and sizes. So these are all PCBs, same material, same connectivity. But this one's probably one of my favorite shapes. It's like a gripper of a robot. So if that's something you guys want to learn, uh, you came to the right videos. This is actually our 30th Kika tutorial video. So I'll put the link below of the playlist. And I think if you watch most of those videos, you will pretty be, you'll be able to make a PCB in Kika. Um, if there's any other videos you guys want us to make, please let me know in the comments. I do look at all of them. I do reply. Uh, have a fantastic day, guys. Um, enjoy the video. So let's get started. Um, so as I mentioned before, a PCB can have many different shapes, uh, many different sizes. It can be any kind of 2D shape that you can imagine. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys what type of different shapes there are and the different ways of you can you can do it. So as I mentioned in previous videos, the board outline is done by the edge cuts. So we have to choose this layer and then make an outline. So the normal way, most PCBs are sometimes a square or most of the time a square or a rectangle. But here we're going to have a look at different shapes. First thing to know about making an outline is you always have to close all your vertices so all these edges has to be closed because once you do that you go alt 3 you'll see the outline and that's our outline so the outline will always take take shape of your edge cut layer but now let's say you want different sizes or different shapes the one thing about keycad is at zero point is always up here somewhere so you cannot change the origin of you cannot change the origin of where the zero point is on the page what i mean by that is if i go here and i go like that and i want to make this a length of 50 i normally make that zero 50 zero zero and it'll always pop up up here that cannot be changed on keycat unfortunately so then i'll always do this to be able to get my lengths and then i can just copy paste <coughs> depending what lens i want want so that's an easy way of doing squares. You can also move it around, make strange shaped triangles. Biggest thing is always make sure that these are closed. So you want that closed. So let's try something else. We go like this. And now you can see it's a kind of triangle. KiCad is a bit difficult to make perfect triangles because you cannot just change the length of it or I've not found a way. So the only way you can change the length is to use your x, y coordinates. So you're either going to have to use some Pythagoras theorem uh, or do some extra mathematics to make a perfect triangle or a perfect shape in that regard. So as always, you can also make a circle. So this is also another common shape for PCB design. That's pretty easy. You can just use the circle, add graphic circle on the right here. Alt 3, you get your circle. If I highlight it, press E, I can get the properties and change the radius of what we want. Uh, so that's the easy way. So to make a square, we use this. Uh, to make circles, we use this. And then you can make any funny shapes. It does get difficult getting perfect perfect um, angles when it comes to this. Like I mentioned, it does get difficult um, to make angles and things like that. So to make a triangle, it's pretty daunting. Um, but as you can see, when I make a line on the left bottom here, you can see over here where you see nodes you can see it actually gives you the angle so you can use that um, to get a certain angle you want use the arrows to make it more accurate you can change the grid so that is pretty much the only way to get a nice angle so if i want 45 i just put enter and then i can keep doing that 45. so i hope that helps now you're going to ask me, but what about the heart shapes that we made? We've made some funny shapes, men and everything. That is not drawn. So that is always taken from the internet, from an image or JPEG. And I'll show you that now. 
Okay, so I'll just use an example as an arrow. So the important thing to do is always search with the word vector. So you want an image that doesn't have too many colors. So two colors because you're going to convert this image into a DXF. So whatever you search, just search arrow vector. So for example, um, let's go to images. I want this one. So I can save this, save image. Then just make sure, so this is not correct, it says WebP. You need a JPEG or PNG. So sometimes you just have to start clicking until you get something. So free download, I just need to give permission. So just make sure where you guys get it from. Um, so permission to Joff Brian. <laughs> so now you save it into a folder that you know. And you see it's a JPEG. So now what I normally do is I just say JPEG to DXF. The one I use most is Converto. Click on that, choose your file, choose my file, and I will convert it. So once it's done, you just push download and it will download the DXF. As always, save it in a folder you know. Now we go back to KiCad, we go File, Import, Import Graphics, and you can see we can choose a DXF. So it's important, there's two factors. You want it on the edge cut because that's your board outline. Your line width is how thick the line will be. That's not too important, it's just easier to see. This can become important when you use this to put it on your board as silk. We've got a video about that also down below. And then the scale is how big you want it. So let's just see if this actually works. Sometimes it does give problems. Um, so there's also a trial error thing. So let's see what we get. Yeah, so you can see it's not ideal. So as you saw, sometimes it doesn't always go as according to plan. So find an image that works nicely for you. So try to maybe get an image where the background is um, clear and that your image is a big contrast compared to the background. So I got this image, did the same thing, converted this to XF, and now if I go to KiCad, import, import graphics, browse, and then choose it, I get my arrow. So you can see this pretty big, and when I do Alt 3, you'll see the image. So this is a bit too big, so what we can do is import, make the scale to 0 0.2, and there you can see it's a bit smaller. So that's how you can get images from just making normal lines to circles to taking an image from the internet and importing it as a DXF. But you can also use it as silk. I've made a video before, but I'll just show you guys what I mean. So if I go file, import, import graphics and make it on the front silk, I'll make it a bit smaller. Then I will actually have writing on my PCB. <laughs> So you can choose different layers, guys. The most important thing is your edge cut layer is where the board outline is. I hope this helped. Guys, let me know in the comments if this was useful, helpful, and what other funny board outlines you can think we can make. It's always nice giving your PCB another different feel than a normal square or circle. It makes it quite exciting. Guys, have a fantastic day, fantastic night. Until next time, bye.